I'm going to be doing a quick demo and review of the Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature palette. I love this palette. Um, anyways, I'm going to do a quick demo and a review. Uh, first off, review wise, I mean, come on. The palette's fabulous. Um, I mean, the colors are just crazy. This is one of my personal ones. Um, I don't share with my clients on this one. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. This one came straight home. This didn't go to the studio and then realize, oh, I don't need it. I'll send it home. No, no, this was like purchased and immediately went home this is for my use. Um, it does have a nice black, which you know how I love palettes that have black in them because they make them more, more, more multi-purpose. Um, downside, the light here, um, it's pretty light. So even pretty fair skin can get away with it. But if you're really, really pale, it might not be a bright enough highlight. But overall, I think it's a good overall palette. You have a nice highlight brow bone color. You have dark for when you really need to dark. You have dark browns. So you can do a full transition with this color scheme, and it's really cool. And I love how they included the green and the uh, pinks because you can work them all together. Um, it's a very good overall palette. Not maybe daily looks or really natural looks, but definitely you could do some natural looks in it with some browns. But it's a, one of those palettes where you can open it up and use the whole thing from start to finish and not have to switch out to another palette to complete your look. So I love that. All right, now to the... Sorry, I had to throw my dog. She's really demanding. Um, now to get to the nitty gritty and do a demo and put a face on this face. I'm not doing really fancy makeup. I'm just doing more of a daily wear for myself. So I'm not doing full foundation. I'm just doing a little bit of skin prep. Some moisturizer, a little bit of pressed powder to kind of even out my skin tone, but nothing really fancy. It's mainly focusing on the eyeshadows today. Don't use your hands on your clients. Please don't. That's rude. Um, use them on yourself, but not your clients. Don't smear the foundation or the moisturizer on them. That's what brushes and sponges are for, so please. If you ever wonder why my palettes always look, well, used, it's because they are. I'm a working artist, and I use them to make a living. So they're not fancy and pretty, but they do the job. And they are sanitized each time, so that's all that really matters, right? I am going to start with Trance uh, for my brow bone. A little bit of Trance just along up in here. Pack that in place. And... It doesn't have a really light shimmer highlight, which I like to do a little bit of pop right there. It doesn't really have one. Um, this is more deeper colors, so I will forego the brow shimmer. I'm going to start with Tempton on my inner lid. I'm using my Krylon 3714 um, shadow brush to pack. All right, now I am going to switch to Ball of Fire, which is just fabulous, and throw that on my outer. And run that up into my crease just a tad, because come on. All right, now I'm going to be switching to my Morphe R39 Blender. And I'm going to work that into my brow, my crease. And for fun, take the same color down under here. I generally am very happy with Morphe palettes. They tend to stay pretty true to form and color wise. And they give you such a fun variety for a really good price. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit of a uh, different color and this one's going to be explode it's another bright orange and I'm just going to add that right here for some fun dimension and because I'm feeling sassy Take a hot pink unstoppable and throw that right there. And I'm going to go back to Tempted and touch up my 
and are lit just a little bit because I, I want to soften the line between the two. Um, I have a little bit of unstoppable still on my brush and so I'm going to bring it under here. Give myself a little bit of enhancement on my waterline or my lash line just to make my edge show up a tad. I'm really digging the light waterline today, so I'm just going to go in and grab Trance and just set my whole waterline because I'm really digging that. I don't usually do it all light, but that's fun today. And there you got it. Fun, fun, fun. Get rid of any fallout. Now I just need some eyebrows and some mascara, some lips maybe, because I look pale. <laughs> oh, but man, do I love this palette. I have so much fun with this palette. So if you're looking for something fun and fiery and you want to do sunset eyes, pick up this Fierce by Nature. I love it. And there you have it, Fierce by Nature. Till next time.